have everyone for some more of my uh, Ronda Mario Maker World Series here for Super Mario Maker 2. And today we're going to be doing all Super Mario Brothers style levels. And without further ado, by the way, hopefully you guys have an awesome Friday, TGIF. Now I will say ahead of time that this may or may not be a shorter than usual video. I am going to play the entire video as Toadette. For those of you that watched the last video, which was the Mario Brothers 3 hype stage, I am extremely not happy with Toad right now, so I'm going to give him the day off. So I'm just going to play strictly as, to as Toadette. I'm going to try to make this at least a 20 minute long video if I can. So without further ado, let's get into this first level by Glenn from the US. And this is Super Mario Land Game Boy. It's a themed single player stage, and it's, yep, it's back. Play this in grayscale, please. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. And I know I say this before in past videos, but it seems like every time I try to record a video, that's when my body decides that I want to burp uncontrollably. Nice rendition of the Mario Land theme. That hit absolutely nothing. Oh, I, I didn't even. Uh, how come I didn't even notice that he made the pyramids? That's pretty cool. Oh, that was almost a screw up. I only ever played Super Mario Land a couple of times. And, I, and it's not a real bad game. I actually think it's a pretty solid game, despite it being on the Game Boy. I, like, like, I know I just made it sound like that, that was a bad thing, but... You know, for all the limitations that the Game Boy had, and for having a Super Mario Brothers game on it, it was actually a pretty solid game, and I enjoyed Glenn's interpretation of that, so that I'm gonna give him a heart. And while we're at it, let's see Mario getting Game Boy version 2. It's a themed single player level, and it's credit to Dirt Face for concept. Fixed, soft lock, optional, try grayscale. This is the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Whoa. I thought this was going to be 1-1 from the original Super Mario Brothers. I mean, obviously this is not, but that's what I thought it was going to be. Nice. Oh. I didn't realize that, but that's what I was supposed to do. Figured there had been a reason why that particular part opened. Huh. 
Very interesting stage. I, I kind of wish in a way it would have been 1-1 from the original Mario Brothers game, but... I mean, this isn't bad. I really enjoy this. This is a very interesting concept. What good is the clown car going to do me? I guess just going over those spikes. Might as well keep it. Could have probably... Okay... ZR... Bye bye, clown car. Checkpoint? Interesting so far. I'm sorry I'm not saying a whole lot, but I'm sure this took a lot of time to make. Whoa. Let's go through the door. Awesome! Two good levels to start off this video. And, lo and behold, Toadette managed to finish both of them with a power-up. See that, Toad? You can actually finish a level with a power-up. Let's try this one by Silver from the US, and this is called Minigame Mix. It's a technical single-player stage, and it's games, tennis, archery, count, deliver, and enjoy. There's a course ID in case you guys want to play this. Okay, first we start off with tennis. Oh, that not a good start. Almost flubbed that up. There we go, nice. Bit of a shaky start, but I was able to come back strong. Okay, archery. I'm guessing this is gonna be with Link. Oh. Oh. Not too difficult. Checkpoint height. Save. What exactly am I? Oh, that try that being checkpoint. I was gonna say what exactly am I saving? Okay, count. Okay, what am I supposed to be counting? Five, seven, six. What was I supposed to count? Let's try five. Okay, we know the answer is six, but six what? I don't get it. What am I supposed to count? I know the answer is six, but... Okay, count. Oh! I was supposed to wait. Okay. That was not clear to me. K. 
Okay, deliver. Deliver what? Oh, I see. Oh, come on! Nice! Okay, end. And sure enough, that is the end. Nice pixel art of Mario's head there. Let's show this one by Hippie I Know from Finland. And this is, this is to Moomin Valley and back. I'm not sure if that's based on an actual place, but... Anyway, this is a themed art stage, and it's one part longing, two parts languor. The rest is bliss with solitude. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. See what we have here. Very interesting level this. Okay. There is the key. Almost called it a called it a heart. Yeah, it just seems like I'm in the zone. I know it was with, on uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday's video, rather, but... It just seems like I'm in, more in the zone with Toad Ed. It just seems like I can't do anything with Toad. Uh... Now what? Was I supposed to do that, or no? I don't think I was. Whoa! Okay. stage. Music is nice and peaceful. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here before I continue. Very pretty stage. There we go! That was a very interesting stage! I kinda like it! And not only have I been able to finish with power-ups this Toadette, I don't think I've lost a life yet, unless there's one I I'm forgetting, but... Anyway, I'm gonna play this one by Neagle from the UK, and this is The Undead Sky. It's a standard theme stage, and it's traditional level. I wanted to make something that isn't a speedrun. Thank you for that. <laughs> Enjoy. Those of you that watched Tuesday's video know that a whole bunch of levels that were made were being speedrun. And nothing against speedrun levels. By the way, there's a course ID in case you're interested in the stage. Nothing against speedrun levels, but people really need to understand that that's not the only levels that people enjoy on this game. Just want somebody to make a normal, traditional level. Or at least a level that has a very interesting gimmick that I haven't seen before that doesn't require anything that's pertaining to speedruns.
going to use anything in any of these. I think it's interesting that you run at normal speed, you don't, but you don't jump at normal speed. I mean, that makes sense considering this is nighttime physics, but... stage. Oh. Come on, Toadette. You can... You can jump around... Oh, maybe you can. to jump over that, but she flubbed that up. Toadette, I'm disappointed. How come she was unable to make that? You guys saw what I was trying to do, right? That probably would have been a fire. I mean, I'm not sure how good a fire flower would get how good a fire flower would do here, but. I mean, I don't even care right now. I did manage to finish a couple stages with a power-up, which is more than I can save for Toad. But it's like pulling teeth trying to get him to finish one level with a power-up. And yes, I still am salty about that. There was no reason for that. Very cool stage! Um, now what? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go back and forth up this. It's kind of tedious. Now I'm gonna do this one more time. Watch this one more time. I'm gonna get hit. Maybe not. Maybe not. I can actually do it without taking damage. Okay. There we go. Nice. Dang! There we go! Very cool stage! Very, very cool stage! But yeah, I like that a lot. I may do one more stage, I may do two more stages, I don't know yet. It just depends on how long this next stage is that I'm gonna play. I played a couple of his levels on Tuesday's video, and they were awesome, so I'm gonna try another level by Pixion from the US. And this is Bowser's Airline Aircraft Armada. Nice alliteration there. It's a standard auto-schooling stage, and it's Endure the Abundance of Bonsai Builds and Bowser's Latest Airship Models. This may be the last uh, level that I do on this video. I want to end it on a high note. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an awesome level. But uh, anyway, that's the course ID in case you guys are interested in playing this level. I wonder if I'm actually gonna. I mean, this is called Bowser's Aircraft Armada. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I actually fight off against Bowser in this particular level. Whoa! I like. 
like that it's not an actual airship level, that it's the sky theme stage, but set up in an airship style level. Very clever. Whoa. I don't know how I managed to get through that without taking damage, but I'll take it. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that kind of tripped me up a little bit. First life I've lost in this video. Same thing I did before. I'm hoping there's some mushrooms up ahead. That didn't go as smoothly as what I had hoped. Okay, let's see what we have ahead. Okay, another checkpoint, which is always welcome. Missed a coin there. No big deal. And that is the flagpole! Very, very cool stage. And I think, to be honest with you, I know this is going to be a bit of, sh of a shorter Around the Mario Maker World uh, series video than normal, but I think I am actually gonna call it here, considering that I only played as Toad, I did not play as, uh, I only played as Toadette, and not as Toad, but, um, but yeah, I figured I'd end the level, especially with a level made by Pixion, which, I'm gonna go ahead and follow him, does he have, no, he doesn't have a Super World, let me see what all courses he has uploaded, Okay, cross the acorn vines. I'm gonna have to try that one. Make your own evolution. Wow, he's made quite a bit of the level. I might actually make a uh, a video dedicated to this kid, uh, this guy. But yeah, he makes some really awesome levels. So I'm really gonna have to consider doing that in the future. Just playing a whole bunch of his levels for you guys because. They have been solid. I played a couple on Tuesday's video, and I played one here to end this video, and all of them have been absolutely fantastic. But, um, but yeah, I'm just so glad that this video, uh, turned out to be much smoother than the last one. I'm glad I didn't rage like I did at the end of the last one, but, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this around the Mar uh, Mario Maker World series. I am going to try my best to come up with more Mario Maker 2, um, content as much as I can, although I do have projects um, already started, like Phoenix Wright and Super Mario Galaxy 2 and all that stuff, so I'm going to try to squeeze Mario, Brother, uh, Mario Maker 2 in if I can, and uh, hopefully you guys continue to have an awesome Friday, um, hope you guys enjoy this video and are enjoying the series, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.